What's that, Sam? The <laughs> Arizona Tourism Board probably won't be using this photo in its promotional materials. Governor Jan Brewer and President Obama got into a visual argument right after the president arrived in the state yesterday. Mm. Um, worth mentioning that this little kerfuffle, a word I use too often mm. actually in the 21st century, was over uh, a passage in Brewer's book, Scorpions for Breakfast, mm -hmm. a compelling book title. Uh, and, and let's listen to what Jan Brewer said uh, yesterday explaining the confrontation on the tarmac. I wanted to be there to welcome him to come and see firsthand what Arizona has done in regards to our economic recovery. He wanted to talk about the book, and I thought that he was pretty uh, thin-skinned. President that's, Obama, thin-skinned. Essie, what do you what do you make of what do you make of that? Um, the visuals, and then the commentary that the president is thin-skinned. I've met Governor Brewer several times. She has not been one to to uh, mince words about the president. She's been very outspoken about her displeasure with the president when it comes to addressing the issues of import to Arizona. Uh, so, or Scorpions for Breakfast, her book. Right, which, which I read and interviewed her about. She's very outspoken and vocal. That said, I don't like it when hockey players decide not to go to the White House. And I don't like it when sitting governors greet the president with a wagging finger. I don't think it's respectful. I mean, you can disagree and you can have valid policy complaints, but there's still an office there to respect. This, this is not a close call. This was inappropriate. She is there on the tarmac as a state official welcoming the President of the United States. Mm -hmm. There are many other political venues if she wants to make political points. What she is doing mm -hmm. is inappropriately invoking the power that she wields as a state official to meet with the president and then using that as a jump off point to go off and complain about it. She did talk radio on it yesterday. She did TV in the video you just showed. This is not an appropriate way mm. to jump off that reaction. If you read the pool report that was distributed, uh, which is a, a neutral account from a traveling reporter, it basically said that she handed him a letter, tried to ask for another meeting, and his response was, well, the last time we had a meeting in the White House where he received her official to official, he felt that she mischaracterized the meeting in her book because at the time they said it was it was perfectly polite and then okay. later in the book she said that he spoke down to her so he he replied that but about the, the meeting request the actual, so this, this is just out of line according to politico the passage uh, brewer writes it was as though president obama thought he could lecture me and i would learn at his knee he thinks he can humor me and then get rid of me right she well, could be upset it, about that but this is not the way mm -hmm. to display that uh, peak uh, you don't greet the president with a wagging finger. Uh, you treat him with respect. And I think we have a polarized electorate enough as it is. We have an election that could be Tea Party versus Occupy Wall Street. We're all on these polarized sides of the fence. We don't need our elected officials playing into that by making a photo up out of a meeting with the president and treating him this way. It is emblematic of a culture that is completely divided, and I think it's shameful. But, and I also think it's particularly around President Obama. There is this feeling yes. of license that I think a lot on, on yes. the right ha feel they have to yes. attack him personally um, and to get really up close where their attacks, whether it's, you know, Rick Santorum not defending the fact that President Obama is a Christian, that he is an, Amer an American-born citizen that, that deserves to legally hold the office of president, uh, whether it's Jan Brewer accosting him on the tarmac. I mean, I, I think it's something about Obama that sort of engenders this personal ire. I think that's right. Newt Gingrich on the trail never says President Obama. Right. He just says Obama. And I, the visual, obviously, was bad of the wagging finger. On the other hand, I think the Obama White House can be a little thin-skinned. I think it's possible to have policy differences. I think it's possible to say, yes, we disagree on certain things and not go nuts. You know, on another network, which I won't name, on the night of the State of the Union, there are other networks. A, anyway. a host referred to the president as the anointed one on the night of the State of the Union. That is beyond ridiculous. Or even the banner that Mitt Romney spoke uh, uh, in front of in his pre buttle one of six buttles to the president's speech where it said, Obama isn't working, a play on labor isn't working. But really, again, it's very personal. It feels, Ari, go ahead. Well, and Alex, there's a connective tissue here to something you raised earlier in the show, which is, well, Newt Gingrich is so hypocritical. We need to stop making the mistake 
of thinking that the extreme elements of the Republican Party are at all consistent on these issues. They are wildly inconsistent. There was an effort to delegitimize the presidency of, of Bill Clinton. Uh, there was an unprecedented use and at times abuse of the investigatory powers of Congress, which should be used for oversight, but should not be used to torment and criminalize political differences. And that went on and on and on, and everyone remembers it. And then when President Bush came into office, there was an attitude that the president is the most important thing in the world that you can never disrespect in any way. And uh, Ari Fleischer came out and told everyone to watch well, what you say after 9-11. And now that we have a new president and one who happens to have been born in this country but <clears throat> repeatedly is accused of being born somewhere else because of the color of his skin, now we have this delegitimization. It's this cycle. We will be talking more about the president next after break. President